Jefferson? Tom. It, it's all technique. <laughs> You're trying to kill it. Let me show you something. Please. Now look at that. That's something Phil Mickelson would be proud of. Yeah, Mickelson's kind of a choker. Excuse me? I didn't know you were a golfer. Yeah, I play. I play. There's a pacifier sticking out of your pocket. You know, if you don't mind, I'm going That's to... That's not very uh, sanitary, keeping your kid's pacifier in your pocket. That's how they pick up germs. My shorts are clean. Yeah? What brand do you have? My shorts? Looks like an even flow. I'm not crazy about even flow. They've had a couple of recalls. <laughs> Is it at least orthodontic? What? It should be orthodontic, so it fits more naturally into the baby's mouth. Gerber and Playtex both sell them. Yes, yes, it's, it's, it's orthodontic. Yeah, we took Colton off the pacifier as soon as he turned one. Did you say Colton? <laughs> How old is your kid? Colton just sounds like one of those Caucasian hybrid names. Colton. Yeah, what's your kid's name? Jack. Now that's original. I haven't seen many of those around. So I haven't seen you out in the circuit in... What? Over two years now? I've taken a sabbatical. Lost the fire, huh? No, I didn't lose shit, pal. Yeah, I just did another episode of All My Children. Some more background work? They may bring me back for a recurring role, they said. Uh-huh. Oh, come on. There's no reason to be jealous. Of extra work. Oh, it's not extra work. I had two lines. Last time I only had one. You see, I'm building up. Got my sights on a contract role, bud. Nice seeing you, Tom. Super nice seeing you, Ron. You know, I was just trying to be friendly with you. To make contact a minute ago, Ron. You remember contact? No, of course you don't. That's what real actors do. Oh, I remember contact. Insulting me during rehearsal about my emotional you preparation. You started that fight. No, you did, Tom. No, you, you started it. Insulting me and making fun of my tech? Yeah, yeah, playing Stanley Kowalski wearing a white Armani suit, a gold Rolex. <laughs> That's a technique. Thinking you could recreate a character that, that, that Tennessee Williams perfected. It was gratuitous, man. And it, it was disrespectful to the crowd. Disrespectful? Oh my God, what about your pretentious Hamlet? Whining and sobbing the whole way through the final act? I was directed that way. It was embarrassing. Just because you did the classics, Ibsen, and Moliere, and all that other theater crap, it never made you a better actor. No, it made you a stagecock. I was a much better actor than you back at the conservatory, you know that. Oh my god, are we going back there? You are not the better Ask actor. Ask any teacher, call them. You kissed their asses talking theory. The students were split 50-50 as to who had more talent. And anyways, I'm getting work which makes me a working actor. Yeah, you're not bartending anymore? No, baby, I'm not. But you know what? I was a great bartender. Fucking fantastic. Voted top five in Time Out New York three years running. There was no sense going on. There's only so much you can do with an Albertini or a Cosmopolitan. Oh, I did it, and I did it well. Your wife, then. She must make the bank. I bet you stay at home with a kid. You know what? I do. And she makes about 300K a year but it's a job. It's a full-time job, Ron. And then when I have an audition, I get the part-time nanny over, who happens to be drop-dead gorgeous with a terrific rack. So what about you, Ron? Still temping? What were you doing, proofreading? What's your line of work, Ron? I'm a stay-at-home. Stay at home, daddy, daddy, father, too. Stay at home. What was that? 
I think you heard me. I stayed home too, okay? You bastard. <laughs> Unbelievable. So here you are grilling my ass and you're in the exact same boat? <laughs> so what does she do? She's an actuary in White Plains. An earner. Good work, Ron. Ah, oh, damn it. Total slice, dude. Is she hot? What does that have to do with anything? Is she hot? You and I are actually gonna try and have a conversation. Is this, is this really happening? Yeah, why not? Why not? Didn't Anthony Hopkins and Richard Burton brawl or, or Brando and Dean? I, I don't know, I, I thought that all great actors fought. And anyway, uh, don't you spend the majority of your day conversing with a toddler like me anyways? I mean, God, I, mean, I, I hardly even get to talk to a grown-up anymore. So uh, even if this turns out bad, at least I've talked to an adult for a little while or made an attempt to, so why don't you? All right. All right, fine. My wife. Her name is Kate. I think she's a beaut. Are you satisfied? All right, see? No, that wasn't so hard. Nice, we're talking here. Kate, is, uh, is she a model? Yeah, sure, she, she could be. She could be. A hand model, maybe? I... My Jen was before she was a hedge funder on Wall Street. So you didn't marry Sharon? You, you and Sharon aren't married? Sharon? Sh Sharon, you thought, you, you, you thought we were, no. No, that was, that was over before it began. Sharon. Do you remember the first time that we said those three words? We were on the telephone. Could not believe what I heard. You are my one and only. I'll be there till the end. Big Bertha? Yeah. Sasquatch. <laughs> So how old is your Jack? He's two. You gotta get him off that pacifier. Oh, uh, we're weaning. Is he still in diapers? Yes. He's not potty trained? We haven't gotten to that yet. Oh my God. Colton was potty trained by the time he was 18 months. Did you uh, memorialize the event and bronze one of his turds perhaps? What kind of diapers does he wear? Are you serious? Yes. He's wearing Huggies, man. Huggies. Huggies? Well, I hope they're pull-ups. Pull-ups? The pull-ups are a nice transition into the big boy underwear. You know, my kid has gotten this far along without you, and he's fine, just fine. Thank you. I wish I could take it back. I, I was a real jerk back then. I, I, I really was. The, the whole situation with Sharon got completely out of control. I, I never meant for it to happen. I, I've been racked with guilt ever since that day. It was a long time ago, Tom. I, you know, I, I really haven't thought about it that much, but look, I was throwing punches too, and... She was really beautiful, but she was an emotional wreck. Yeah, but I loved her. She's married now, too. Yeah. She lives in LA. She's she's still acting. I I get a crazy email from her every once in a while. That she always loved you. Okay. I I was just a bump in the road. I have her email. No thanks. 
Listen, man, I, I'm sorry. I, <clears throat> Accept my apology because I've had this emotional burden on me for years and I just <laughs> look, always look, wish look. that I could. Tom, you didn't like wreck my life or anything by sleeping with her, okay? I mean, at the time, I wanted to do some evil things to you because I loved her and she and me, but I don't know, man. I mean, I can look back now. I can see the problems we had. The relationship probably would have run its course, so. It's like all those balls out on the range, right? They mean so much when they're sitting there right there in front of us. We're always trying to have the right approach, the perfect technique, and then boom, right? They're gone. Out there bouncing around, we can hardly tell our balls on the range from the next guy. Yeah, so it hurt. But you don't have to feel bad any longer. I'm swinging on a new bucket of balls. Well, God damn it, that's cool. That, honestly, that's... I, I feel a lot better, man. Do you? Here you go. Huh. Hey, so tell me, do you do all the laundry? Yep, I iron too. Jen took me off laundry duty. I kept washing her sweaters in hot water and drying her bras. You know, sometimes I feel like I've slipped into this role. I know, of, the housewife. I know. I prefer houseman. No, I know where you're going. It's the emasculation, the testicle seizing backwards into the pelvis. So who the hell did Sharon marry? I knew you'd want to know. She actually ended up marrying a film director. No one famous. He, he shoots straight to DVD horror films in Eastern Europe. I guess she's been in a few. I thought she'd go that way. What, sleeping her way for parts? Well, you said she married him, so. So then she's definitely not sleeping with him now. No. <laughs> Jack still napping? Barely, man. This is about an hour a day, which gives me enough time to check out some porn, take a scalding hot shower. Yeah? What are your favorite sites? I like Stock by Cougar and Milf Hunter. Those are my top two right I now. I was kidding, right? actually. I, I don't watch any porn while he's napping. In this day, you could be brought up for child endangerment, so. <laughs> yeah, come on. I was only kidding. You know, people don't know what it's like to be a house husband. They, they don't openly talk about stuff like this. It's, it's uncharted territory. You know what? We should do a blog together or something. A blog? On what? Well, think about it. Two guys at home with the kids? Our lives. Hey, the exploits, the stories. Come on, man. This would be great. Hey, we could even set up PayPal that people would have to pay us for our advice and wisdom. So you and I. Yeah, you and I. We start a blog. Yeah, then some Today Show staffer reads it who shows it to Matt Lauer, who brings us on. Hey, and then Hollywood takes notice and bam, we got our own TV show. Desperate house husbands. Hey, who cares at 25 grand an episode? Dude, I would do it in drag if Kate would let me out of the house. Ron, if we're gonna make something hot like this happen, you gotta learn how to play the game. Saturday is my day. What I do on Friday night is rub Jen's feet, pour her a glass of Chianti, let her watch all the HGTV she wants, and even make her a bowl of chili. I don't ask for anything back anymore. Just the Saturdays to play golf. Hey, you should work that into your relationship. This Friday night, make it all about her so that Saturday we could play golf and- Talk about the hit show? Yes. You know what, this is great. I'm serious, I'm gonna go home right now and write a synopsis. I know a few producers now. I'm gonna, I'm gonna make this thing work. Hey, you know what? As long as it's not zombie dads from hell, knock yourself out, Tom. Cool, cool. This is way cool. Ron, man, it was just crazy running into you like this. Next Saturday, say 10 o'clock. I'll bring the synopsis, we'll play 18. 
Sounds great, man. Let it go, man. Let it go. Let it go. Uh, all right. Okay. Hey, is Jack in a twos program? Because I, I know a good one. Funny you should ask, we just started looking into that. Jack just turned two. Hey, I'll have to send him a present. No, you don't have to. I want to. to unwind. 